having these five companies come together, uh, you know, is a a significant statement. It gives a lot of credibility to this space when you have an IBM and an AT and T, a GE, Cisco, Intel. Uh, you know, that makes a statement. And a big reason why we've done this is because we think the technology, the markets, everything is sort of falling into place in terms of timing. And so now it's time to help the market grow and to really create a new market. We don't build all the pieces. None of the companies involved build all the pieces. So it's really critical that if we're going to grow this market together, um, you know, that's why you see competitors coming together because uh, you know, it, 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 none of us can do this on our own. Uh, the value is in helping to coordinate on standards. Um, there's a need to make sure that things work together. We've got a lot of different moving pieces from a lot of different segments, industry segments, that are now going to need to be integrated. Uh, it doesn't mean that everybody has to be on the exact same technology, but if we have the right standards in place that, uh, you know, that allow information to be exchanged and understood between these different uh, industry segments, then we can build the larger integrated systems that really represent the value. You know, we don't intend to develop standards, we don't intend to be that type of consortium, but we do intend to be uh, representing the, the needs of the industries in the different segments that we're working in and to be a coordination point with the different standards bodies around the world. And then another important part of it is to begin to establish some test beds, some real world implementations so that we can prove uh, you know, which technologies are working, which standards are working, and get some feedback on you know, which things aren't working so that we can work with both our, our member companies and our other organizations to understand what's, uh, what needs to be improved or changed, and also with the standards bodies. Uh, the test beds are also going to you know, get beyond PowerPoint and show that uh, you know, this, this is real technology, this is something that can be deployed today, and that there's business value in it. If we see the Internet of Things market really start to mature and to become a sort of mainstream, uh, a mainstream market for businesses and for industries, for, for governments to leverage, then we've succeeded. I mean, ultimately what we want to do is grow this from something that is you know, more in the laboratory space in some industries. It's more mature already in other industries like energy. But you know, we really want to see this uh, become uh, you know, sort of part of everyday life. And to do that, it, it really needs to move forward out of the labs and into the market now.